crafty friends come on in come on in the water's fine <laughs> oh happy Friday all right I'm giving it just so if you're an early bird or you're watching this on the replay first 30 seconds I'm just chilling out and then I'll do my intro and we'll get started so you're always welcome to fast forward I don't mind of course you're welcome to just just hang out you know maybe you're getting things ready uh, while this part's going on oh, 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 oh. you like that <laughs> I'm actually excited about this project. All right, here we go. You ready? Hi, crafty friends. It's Audra Monk, the crafty yogi, and welcome to the crafty corner. And I'm filming this on a Friday, so we'll call, and it's at five, so we'll call this Friday at five. So come on in. Um, I'm gonna talk to you about my classes coming up uh, for the month of November. So, oh, what day is it? It is Friday, November 4th, uh, 2022. So if you find this after, this project is great to make later. Go ahead and just fast forward to the project, okay? No problem there. Um, if you're here now, of course say hello. Let me know that you're watching. I've been trying to do Friday videos at 11 or 11.30, but I had to sub yoga classes today. That other job gets in the way sometimes. So um, let me show you what is coming up. Some cool things you can do with me. Oh, I guess I need to show you the desk. Hold on, let me press the buttons. There we go. And there we go. Whew. I hate, sometimes I forget to press buttons and I think that you can see what is there. <laughs> There's nothing there and then I feel bad because I have to do it all again. And I don't edit these videos. This is the real Audra, the real time, this is what you get. Um, and, unless, you know, I guess if I epically fail something, I would probably just delete it and do a new one. Um, okay, so upcoming classes in November. And two of these have um, RCP dates that are coming up very soon. Um, so Monday. Monday definitely for Christmas uh, cards so Christmas just cards let me show you this I've been sharing these all week long um, you'll make two of each except for when I get to the last one so two of this cute one hey Barbara Pendleton welcome two of this one I posted this one today let's see if you can see yeah you can so I use three different embossing folders um, the snowflakes some trees and the music one and I will emboss these for you it'll be pre-cut for you all you'll need to do is add your stamp um, and it doesn't have to be this one. Like sometimes people are like, oh, I don't have that stamp. I try to make it so you can use what's in your uh, stamp cabinet that is Christmassy. And if you don't have a lot of stamps, you could totally write Season's Greetings or Merry Christmas on there. And then the last one is going to be a double set in that you'll get the supplies to make this red and green one and the supplies to make the black and gold one. This is from the same paper pack, but it's kind of fun um, to see see them together I can't I still can't decide and so you'll just need a big stamp or you can get creative on there um, stamp a Christmas tree whatever you want so this is Christmas just cards and this um, you have to RSVP by Monday which is maybe the seventh okay and then also by Monday ish is my uh, graceful tiles this is with the makers mojo team so you need this stamp set to complete the projects as shown it's $18 if you want to add it um, when you go to registration there's a place to add it and I won't even charge you the extra shipping and handling or anything um, and I'll send it with your packet I only have my card I wanted to make the other cards and I just haven't had time um, I just have a busy thing going on but isn't that pretty let's see am I too close there we go it's so pretty. So it's a lot of stamping, a little bit of coloring with your blender pen. Um, we make them all fancy. We do fancy insides with the Maker's Mojo. So that class will include um, some paper and some gems and some twine. So you want to look on my website and then click the registration link and you can get all the info. Okay, so graceful tiles. Oh, also, if you want to do Maker's Mojo um, online event in January, the early bird sign up now. That gets you into a drawing to win um, a prize. Um, so look, and there, oh, did I, you know what? I don't have that information up on my website, um, on the, yeah, the audremonk.stampinup.net yet. I will have to add that this weekend. Okay, and then we got two more things. Just cards, so you got like a week, another week to RSVP for this one. Oh, this is so funny. I didn't stick them on. Because I wanted to, I'm going to do one of those this or that's. Do you prefer it with the penguin or without the penguin? And so I think it could go, it's fun either way. So um, this is just regular greeting cards. You will get the supplies to make two of each. And sometimes the paper colors will vary. Um, but in general, they're going to be, you know, they're super cute. So there's that. And then lastly, oh my gosh, there's a lot going on in November. I was like, oh, I'm going to keep it simple in November because I'm going to be away a bunch of weekends. Apparently not. 
Where, where is it? Oh, here it is. Okay. Now, this is actually the first week of December. Oh, there's going to be a little hot spot. There we go. But this is my Christmas sampler. Um, it's in-person class on Sunday, December 4th. And then they'll go out in the mail Monday or Tuesday for the to-go orders. The, nothing will be stamped, but I will die cut all of the stuff. Now, this you'll have to cut it out. You have to fussy cut that one. Um, but the die cuts will be done for you. So you will need to stamp those three little things. So how cool is that? I think it's really pretty. So that'll be fun. So I'll be posting about that in the next week or so. Get some more up there. The event is up. Okay. All of that said, what is, oh, see, it did take like five and a half minutes for all of that fun. Um, okay. What are, you're like, what are we going to make today, Audra? Now's the making time. So one of my most popular YouTube videos from, is from three years ago, and it is on making this cute little, um, folder for the mini what do you call these mini legal pads okay oh I forgot to I forgot to cut that little piece of paper we'll just cut that together um and I like it and I've made a lot of them I gifted them to my team but I was thinking I surely could make it better like it's a little bit roomier than I would like and I tried a lot of things I've, I've wasted a lot of paper in the last couple days so I've revamped it just a little it's a subtle change and just for fun because sometimes you got to know um, I revamped it once or was this the same this is the same size and that's when I decided I needed to change it I tried putting a magnet in here or let's use this uh, let's use this one okay just so we have the bulk of it so the way this works is you take your mini legal pad um, I buy them on Amazon I need to order some more and then you put it in and so I tried a magnet but see how it's crooked I think if you do magnets, you really need two. And it does bump it up. Also, if you do magnets, see, I did it a little over. It needs to be in the center so that there's enough paper to uh, lay down. I mean, not that I hate this one, but there were some issues with it. Okay, so then <laughs> I wasted a bunch of paper. Some of it retired paper. I tried. I revamped it a little bit, and I do like it better. It's a little bit snugger on the... Um, notebook and I had fun uh, with this one with the paper I went back to the velcro because I decided I like that uh, best um, so anyway I am gonna show you how to make one and we're gonna take this out because this is the only pad I have left so I need to um, buy some more so the numbers have changed if you saw the old video um, I might even go put in the comments in case people see that hey if you want to um, try it oh hey Wendy Wendy from Georgia Oh, awesome. She's going to share some projects she's been making. That's awesome. Cool. So I'm going to show you how to make this folder with the new measurements. <laughs> My notebook looks like this. So what we want, if you're going to take a screenshot, and I will, it's funny, I think I said in that old video I would go back and put the measurements in the description. I don't think I did. And then there was a blog post, but I haven't used my blog in a long time, so I think it's just like defunct. I'm not sure. But take a screenshot of this and then zoom in. This is the measurements and the scoring, and I will promise although it may not happen till Monday um, to add this to the description on YouTube and Facebook okay so there's your uh, things okay where's my papers all right and here are my papers look we're gonna add a gnome maybe I think we're gonna dress it up isn't he adorable I just love this little gnome die uh, the kindest gnome set and, and sorry I'm so excited um, I have used this paper a lot but I have only used, oh, not, see, I haven't used this sheet at all. I've only used, like, the trees and the snowy sides. Like, in this, where is that one with the penguin? In this Just Cards, this is the um, other side of a lot of the um, DSP in the Kindest Gnomes. I don't know if it's called Kindest Gnomes DSP, but I've used these papers a lot. And so I was like, gosh darn it, I, like, I do like gnomes. And this would be a fun gift to give to someone so I decided I was going to use the gnome sides. Well, I'm going to use gnomes and trees. Okay. So we need to go to the beginning of this story without Audra telling you 80,000 things. All right. You need a scoreboard or your trimmer and scorer. And I'll say what these measurements are also. Okay. And yes, we have a thing. Stylus. Okay. So you're, you have two pieces they are the full 11 inches that they come in the U.S. If you are in uh, the U.K. or Europe or whatever, I'm pretty sure your paper.
paper is longer than 11, so you can cut it down, and this is 7 and 5 eighths. So I think that these measurements could be converted to, to metric. Oh, this thing doesn't have, um, get out your other scoring board, and it would have the metric, or just do inches for this, so that way you can use that. Okay, so we have two pieces. Let's do this one first, the smaller one. On the short side, that means the short side, so when I say SS, um, the short side means the part that is at the top. And this gets just two score lines, and they are, really, that doesn't make any sense. What did I write down? Five and three-eighths. Hold on, my friends. <laughs> you got to have your test pieces with you. Ah, it does say score at five and three-eighths. Oh, duh. Okay, I know what it is. One, two, three. That is wrong. All right. Well, let me double check. Yeah. So what we need, we need three eighths. Ah, oh, okay. I'm really sorry. I got to write it down or I'm going to type the wrong thing. So we are going to score it at one, two, three is too far. We're going to score it at five and a quarter. Oh my goodness. You don't know how many times I practiced this and how many times I tweaked it, but I had measurements like and paper everywhere. Okay, so five and a quarter. Score short side at five and one quarter. All right, here, just in case you're actually watching it in real time, take a screenshot of that. Hopefully that'll be the only um, uh, change. Okay, and then turn it to the long side and score it two and three fourths. All right, and then what helps me know when I'm doing projects like this, unless, you know, when I'm on, if I'm making a bunch of these, then you get into a rhythm and you know what you're making. Just think about it. This is the part that folds up, and then this is the part that connects to the second part to make the front of the folder. Okay, so when I know what the pieces are, that really helps me a lot. It doesn't mean I don't mess it up, but it does. Okay, short side. What is this? This is seven and five eighths. And we are going to score it at three eighths. That one's hard. One, two, three. So the thing right before the half. Three eighths. Go slow and careful. Okay. Then score it at five and five eighths. Five and one, two, three, four, five eighths. So the one right after the half. And then it should be at six. One, two, three. Yep. And at six, yay, that's what it says. So it's three eighths is the bindings of this booklet. And then turn it on the long side and score it at two and three fourths. Whew, that was hard. I hope I didn't mess anything up. If I did, this would be the case where I said I would just have to <laughs> do a new video. Oh, hey, Cheryl, welcome. Okay, next, do some burnishing. And this is soft suede that I'm using to coordinate with that Kindest Gnomes paper. What we need, there's one bit we have to cut off. One little bit. And it is this rectangle at the bottom. So get your scissors. Hold on. Get your glasses. <laughs> oh, boy, I got some crazy hair today. Okay, and cut this off. I love like decorating little notebooks and little post-it notes. There's a couple things I like to make all the time. Um, I don't know, I just think it's nice. All right, and then let's score this one. Okay. And then this one. And then we're gonna, I lied. I said that was the only cutting you had to do. When I made that black one, I like this. I cut here and I cut here. I just found that it laid flatter to um, have it be separate. Okay, and then on this one, same thing, cut just the little piece. And I don't know if I burnished this one, so let's just do it again. All right, the next thing I'm going to recommend is glue. Your Tombow glue. And I'm going to show you why. Oh, us lovers of gnomes and stuff. Okay, this is one I made... So maybe I made this three years ago. I, ha it, I gave a bunch away and I had some left, but look, look what has happened. This was done with tear tape. 
You could also do tear tape and liquid glue. I can glue it. I'm going to go back and glue it. But when it sat here for a long time, now if you gifted it to someone and they're using it, I'm sure that it would be fine. But um, I noticed that it was starting to fall apart just a little, but it is just paper and adhesive. So, you know, you get, it's, you know, there's, a, there's not a longevity to some of this, but um, yeah, so I have that one too. So I have a couple, I had two left from last year that never got given away. I think I did them as a gift uh, three years ago for my team. Um, okay, so now we're gonna put glue here. Shoot, no we are not. You know what, we're gonna be okay. We're gonna put glue there later. Hold on, I need a wipe. Oh my goodness. This is why you love these live videos. All right, so I just, the good thing is I had already planned that I was gonna cover the spine. So we're all good. And I will need glue there. But not yet. Okay, so I wiped them with that. Wipe them on my shirt. All right. So let me give you your tips again. Um, that we should... Oh my gosh. Now it's funny because I think the old video, which I thought wasn't that good, I think it's now better than this video. But the sizes are different. The size is better. All right. So think about how this is going to go on. So I was putting glue on the outside. I need to put glue on this outside. All right. We got this. But I had already cut little pieces, so we're, we're good to go. It's not an epic fail. All right, and then what I like to do, which may or may not work because I'm doing this video right now and apparently um, it's almost like a Friday the 13th, is, can I hold this down? Okay, is to put this on top and line it up. And I've got that glue and you know any stamping up, any paper crafter using liquid glue, they always say, oh, and you have wiggle room. <laughs> you like how I give it a, a high-pitched voice? You do have wiggle room. You can take it off and down a little bit and get that as even as you can. There we go. Yay. Okay, and then we're going to open it back up. And we're going to do the same down here. I found that by adding that one little cut, I was getting this to lay more evenly. Hold on. This goes here. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so funny. I literally have made like, well, okay, a lot of them were fails, but I've made like six of these in the last couple days. Um, I have taught a lot of yoga class in the last couple days. All right, now we're going to make it into the folder. So we're going to cut it, cut it. We're going to glue it here. And on this side, you're like, where's the seam? There's no seam. Just roll your glue up there. Okay, then this comes up and we are going to carefully smoosh it on carefully smoosh it on. You know what I didn't do? I didn't burnish that bottom part that way, but that's okay. I think it'll be all right. Do I have enough fingers? <laughs> oh, oh, thank you, Cheryl. It is so weird how you can do something a billion times and you've made all the errors and you think you've got everything. I have a second thing that I didn't do that I wanted to do. So, but I, I can fix that. You think you have everything under control. And then it all goes to Patooie Head. Patooie Head, that's like a new place apparently. Oh, there we go. We have a folder. Okay, I'm going to put, no, I'm not going to put the notebook in yet. Hold on, everything's going crazy town. All right, so designer series paper. I decided we're going we're gonna to see gnomes. And what I wanted to do, so we're going to put one on the front. And this is cut to five by eight. You could do, which I kind of like, like this one, I did the um, two layers. So I made this, I, I did the thing and then I did it a quarter. I don't know. So you can play with your layers. You know how to make layers. But if you want, you can. But I thought that this was already had a lot going on. So I didn't want to make layers. Okay, so I have one for the front. I know what, this is what I forgot. I was going to put one here on the inside. But do you know what? We can still put it on the inside because we will just cut it down. Yeah, yes we will. We are gonna cut it to, we are gonna cut this to, you know what, I'm gonna measure it on this side. So this is five and a half. So we're gonna cut it to five and a quarter with my trimmer. Okay, let's cut this. I just thought it'd be fun to have it on the inside. Five and a quarter.
And then, you know, we're going to need to cut a little piece of that tree one, too. Whew, all right, this will work. And it's fun having this folder. So if you wanted to give them a card, oh, that's really cute, too. Um, if you wanted to include a card or, you know, some other thing on this other side. Now, I don't think you could do two, two notebooks. I think that's too much. Um, I think making them Christmassy, I don't know if they would sell at a craft fair, but I think they'd be kind of cool. Like it would say Christmas planner or something like that on it. Okay, there's that part. All right, then we're gonna flip it over. Now here's the deal, because I did almost mess this up earlier. Remember which one is the front and which one is the back. I wanna put those same gnomes on the front. No, I wanna put them on the back. And I wanna put the trees on the front so I can add my gnome. Okay, so we'll glue these on. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> I do want this because the trees are gonna go on the flap. I got it. Whew. I got it. All right, and don't worry. You know what, if you glued it on all not the way you planned, in most cases, you could totally give that to someone and it would be all right. They would be happy with it. All right, so the little gnomes and the reindeer walking in the forest. What have we got? We got foxes in there. Okay, and then this is going on the back and then we're gonna put the little sliver. Oh, that side's cute too. Um, I haven't used that side. I've used the tree side and cards and stuff. It's so funny how you can like something but then be like, mm, no, I keep going just for the patterns. All right, and this one goes on. I love these little, I almost called these little square trees. These would be little triangle trees. Okay, and then cut your little sliver at a quarter. So I'm gonna put the adhesive on this little sliver. So that way I know I got it in the right spot. And I'm not gonna go crazy. I'm gonna keep it really thin and hopefully I don't get it on my paper. Whew, all right. Now we're rolling along. Now we're a Happy Friday crafters. Oh, this is so cute. Look at that, we're getting really fancy. And it's okay that it doesn't line up. It's also okay you could have used a third paper. You could have used, um, Where'd that gnome go? This paper would be cute. That one with the snowflakes, that would be really cute. Okay, and then we're gonna put it here. I got one more. You could put it on the inside too. You know what, maybe I'll go crazy and go back and do that. I don't have that one cut. So put this one on. Okay, I got some glue. It's really hard to pick up, it's so skinny. Quarter inch is no joke. I have big fingers, so. You know how some people are just like, they have the prettiest hands. I don't really have the prettiest hands, but this is gonna sound, whoa, this is gonna sound really weird, but I think I have nice feet, so I am okay with that. I mean, I'd like to have really pretty hands. I mean, I don't have, you know, nobody has hideously ugly hands. We all have just the right hands for us. But, there we go. Okay, so we've got all that. Now, we're gonna get fancy. Get your quarter rounder, whatever brand you got. I've been noticing that this one, Oh, that time I got a good one. It's starting to mess up. This is an old Creative Memories one. Um, I don't have the Stampin' Up one. Okay, and then I'm gonna quarter round this, just one side, the side that goes here and the inside since my paper is directional. Oh, now see, earlier today, I kept having to come back with my scissors and fix that paper. So see, there we go, something went right. All right, and we'll put some glue here. Now this part with the paper, you could put this on with Stampin' Seal. I think that that would be fine. Whoa, whoa. Whew, did you see that? I almost dropped it. All right, let's lay this back down. But I just decided to keep rolling with the glue. Okay, whoa. All right, oh, this is such a nice folder and it feels so nice with Stampin' Up! paper. Look at that. How cute is that? Okay, now we're gonna put our our book. Do I have the book? Nope, not that book. All right, hold on. Oh, there it is. I'm like, I only have one left. What did I do with it? Um, and you can probably buy these at Staples. I don't know if the dollar store would sell them, um, but I get the Amazon basic ones from Amazon. You know what? Look at that. Look at that. I'm gonna put that there. Okay, so I need to cut 
that a little bit. You could put a strip there. Oh my gosh, you could have fun. You could just keep like, so cut this to two and a half. You can just keep on going. I'm gonna do it this way so it will line up two and a half. So I'm cutting it off the bottom. Now, wouldn't it be fun to do those trees here or contrast it? Yes, you could totally do that. You know you can. Playing with the patterns, if I wasn't using the, um, like doing some of the snowflakes, I like using the different patterns. I think that can be very, very fun. But I think this will also be very, very fun. Yes. So look, it was a happy accident that I did not put this in because now we're just gonna pretend like this is a card or it's notes or something. It could go in that side. Oops. Ooh, I feel goopy stuff. All right, let me get that off. Okay, so then last up, you would cut a little strip. Let me write it, see how big that is. It would depend too on your book. So this is uh, three fourths. So I'm gonna cut it right under the three fourths and I think it's five. Oh, it's not quite five. No, it is five, okay. So I want the part with the trees real fast. Let's cut this and then we're gonna put our Velcro on and we are good to go. Now here's the deal. I want my trees, like I wouldn't want my trees this way. I want them that way. But I see I have a piece here. So I said it was three fourths. So we're gonna come an eighth. No, you know, we're gonna cover the whole thing. Three fourths. So it looks like we're gonna get the tips of, <gasps> Ooh. The tips of trees. Did I check if this was five? Ooh, I am a lucky duck because I had not checked that it was five. It must be from um, leftover. Yay, look at that. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Okay, so we'll just put the glue here. I think the glue will stick on this. It's, this is a little um, slippery feeling. Oh, that would be kind of cute too. Oh, because I got really lucky. I'm gonna do it that way, that I got the cute little animal heads. Sometimes things just work out for you. Okay, hmm, I was gonna give this one away, but I might have to keep it. Okay, and you're like, how do I put the Velcro on? All right, so as I said, I tried magnets. You can do them, but definitely do them center, and um, they will go through the paper, but it bumps up a little bit. Um, I have these circle Velcros. I bought this, it just says sticky back Velcros. Um, it's a whole bunch, I have 200 circles. So I'm just gonna put the whole circle on. So the way I like to do it is stick it together and then peel one side off. I don't know that I normally even pay attention to which side goes where. Ooh, this is hard to get off, which is good. That means it's really sticky. Okay, put it in the center, not too close to the edge because when you're peeling it off and on, it's gonna, um, what am I trying to say? It's gonna get some wear and tear on your paper. Now, could I have put some DSP on this? I could, but I would wanna make sure that it had a lot of adhesive on it because then my Velcro would be pulling on that. All right, peel this off. Oh my goodness. Okay, that was a workout. And, oh, thank you, Naomi. She says she loves this. Oh, I'm so glad. Line this up, okay? Because even with your notebook, I think it tends to skew downward because I'll explain why in one second. Make sure you get it even. And then when you close it, check that that's even. Okay, and then you press. And then you press it down. Give it a moment. Okay, so the reason it will not be 100% tight is the notebook is about a quarter inch wide. If you do the binding at a quarter, it is too tight. And if you could do, if you use your trimmer score, you could get that 16th and you could um, make it even snugger, which I would like, but I found <laughs> more wasted paper and I decided it wasn't worth it, that this was fine. So I did firm up, there we go, that it's snugger around the notebook, which I like. So if you saw my old, old video, 
It's so funny. I have so many of these. The old video, let me show you. This is how I taught it. See how it is in like a half inch bigger. I took a quarter inch off each side and snugged it up to the notebook, which I think works way better. Okay. Um, yeah, and this is the same one. This is the new one. We won't talk about the, well, I've already talked about the wasted paper ones. Um, those are, those are away. Um, luckily, I didn't put designer series paper on them, but this is how this goes. So there you go. That is how to make a little folder for a mini legal pad. You can use the same tips and techniques to make a mini folder for any kind of pad of paper. Um, you might just have to play with it a little bit. Okay, let me press this button so I can talk to you. All right, so thank you so much for joining me. I hope that this video is helpful to you. Um, even with the ups and downs and the, the mis, mis, mishaps, I think they're mishaps. Um, it totally works out. You'll have a great little thing for yourself or to gift or to sell, whatever you want to do with them. Um, I hope you have some fun and you make some. Uh, let me know if you do make some. I will post a picture. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Hold on. I'm doing my exit and wait a minute. Let me show you. Hold on. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Hold your horses. I am going to put a gnome on this one. I'm not going to glue it down now because I was totally sending you on. Um, your current measurements give you room for notes in the pocket. Yeah. Okay. So I think you can also add a little decor, but I'm going to stick it down nice and strong. I mean, I wouldn't carry it in my purse. My purse is a dangerous place, but I think this would be super cute to have a little gnome on there. Okay. I'm good. Peace out, homies. Ha, peace out, gnomies.